Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Napoleon Total War here today on the channel. We're back with episode 10 of my Darth Mod campaign. Here today, we're going to be invading the British Isles. Napoleon's finest have arrived in northern France, just north of Barry, and we're gonna hopefully once and for all here today defeat the United Kingdom. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on, let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series, and where you'd like me to expand and conquer. Hopefully though, here today, we can hit our victory conditions. So, not all of Napoleon's marshals will be going to Britannia. Bernadotte is holding out in his newly conquered kingdom of Sweden. I've also got some forces still back in Russia. However, we have assembled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stacks, and let's head them all over. So, I think the best way is just to move our entire navy together and make sure everyone's in zone just in case we do get attacked. So we are at war with the United Kingdom. We have an alliance with the Spanish and Ottomans for now before we need to take territory from them. So we're going to assemble here but the main problem is is the British Navy, which is still quite large. It's been defending the channel for quite some time. So, what we'll do is we'll instead of going like probably like probably safer to get these armies over, we'll be going one by one with the huge army. But I think <laughs> just trying to get as many of our sacks over to England, the better. You've got to risk it for the biscuit. So, we'll move everyone up here. I just hope that the British don't attack us while we're assembling the mightiest fleet that France has ever seen. Okay, so we'll just move them bank smack there to protect the single fleets. Alright. Well... We'll make sure that Napoleon has the rest of the main fleet, because he's the one you really need to protect. Everyone else, unfortunately, is a little bit expendable. But we'll end the turn and see how the British react. Oh no, here they come. Are they going to attack? And they have. Oh wow. Um, okay. We'll auto resolve. We did lose some ships there. One. Oh no, two. Two full stacks were sunk. Oh my god. We haven't had a juicy naval battle. I was I was kind of open to playing one. But with that, we, I, I couldn't afford to lose any of those ships. The order was always way safer. So who did we lose? It was a gamble. Fleet destroyed. So we lost two full stacks. Oh, the Admiral died. Okay, good. Whew. I was going to say, we would have come up with a general. We could have lost Michelinet, maybe Massina, potentially even um, Yoki Mira as well. Crikey. So, with the British trying to sink us, man, they probably killed like 8,000. If it's two full stacks, yeah. Oh, that's so annoying. 8,000 French lives sunk at the bottom of the. English Channel, soon to be called the French Channel. So, the British are defending their island home quite well. They've got a full stack in London, another army outside, and then another army just south in the port. So we'll disembark, but potentially we'll have to fight them on the beaches. But we've managed to... I don't know. I don't know how many, probably got 40,000 French. Potentially? I don't know how many exactly we have. Once we get into a battle, we can, we can see. 
So, what are the British going to do? So, it looks like they moved an army around here. They still have an army inside their port. Now that we've eliminated so many factions, the end turn time is so much quicker. Okay, so they're holding up in London there. Alright. So, we might actually be able to take London, because those units aren't in range, I guess. Well, we'll move in General Massena. So, how many is that? 20,000 there. Okay, it wasn't like 40,000. It would have been a lot more. Yes, yeah, so we lost 8,000. Oh, that's so annoying. So, that's going to bring in them. Is that everyone, though? That's what I want to know. So, how many is it further? I'm pretty sure they brought in pretty much everyone, though. So you can't actually get in there. Uh, move up that army. Move up you and move up Napoleon. So what does that go to now? Okay, so it was a lot higher. That's thirty-two thousand we've invaded with. Yes, yeah, so it was. We we went over with about forty thousand. Far out. It's probably the biggest Darth mod army I've ever assembled. Well, we lost five thousand five thousand four hundred there. That's a bit unfair. I guess friendly fire accounted for that. That's ridiculous. Anyway, we've taken London here. We'll auto-resolve that because we can play this one on the outside. Because I think... The Duke of Wellington, Arthur Wellesley, is outside. We'll allow Napoleon to attack it. So we'll move up Napoleon. And we've been attacked, but it's not. It's... Um... It is Charles. It is not the. Uh, it's not Arthur Wellesley. It's not the Duke. All right. Well, let's fight this one here today, and this will be the battle for for London, 1808. Napoleon, Mirat, Massena, the Grouch, Grouchy, Francis Paul Germain. Against Charles and Homer Inglis. The Battle for Britain is about to begin. So it looks like the British forces are defending a river crossing here, okay. Looking at the map. We are attacking them, so we have to take the onus in the fight to them, which could be a little bit difficult. But we'll just have to see how we go. We will numerically win, hopefully. But yeah, why did we lose so many? I'm actually really quite surprised about that. I guess because it's a capital, but I don't think even when we took, like... I don't know. Another capital on Central Europe with an auto resolver was that much? Because we played the one in Moscow. We played the one in Austria. I'm trying to think. No, yeah, Prussia. The, the Prussian wars never were that bad. But anyway... Let's form up our front line. We've got five artillery pieces in this one. We've also got some new units, which we haven't seen on the campaign map before, which have been newly recruited because we have access to late game and tier elite French military forces now. Just trying to see which is the best line of sight for these artillery pieces. But I think where I initially deployed is probably the play. That's not too bad there. The river cross there's a river crossing to our left, but then a bridge crossing to our right. Which is typical. As soon as we cross the channel and get a get into a battle against them, it starts pouring down with rain. The British have been a pain in my sight in this series. We'll pull back Napoleon. Who, after landing in Britain, commanded the ships to be burnt. We will not go backwards, only forward. It'd probably be like a strategy to do that, just burn the, the ships there. Burn them all. To ensure a certain victory. Victory or defeat. Napoleon will not be another page in someone else's history book. So, objectives wise, we still need to take Spain and some Ottoman territory, and then we can claim victory. So, we've got some French Polish cavalry here now that we have access to. 
We've also got access to the heavy, heavy cavalry reserve, which you can't quite see it because there's a bloom going on. But now they have a metal armor piece. We've also got 12 pounder foot ar uh, 12 pounder artillery, and then we're pushing down to our regiment of foot here. We have the French middle guard, the young guard, and we have one lot of uh, grenadiers there. We do have some old guard which are back in one of my other armies. Okay, so let's get our artillery to rain fire upon them. The problem is powder is quite dry, so our artillery is nowhere near going to be effective enough. Now the problem is we have to attack them, so we have to do a river crossing. So we might have to slightly advance. But yeah, if you haven't gone and watched the last episode, and you've missed parts of this series, I do recommend it. It's been good. We started off dealing with coalition forces in Austria and Prussia. Then the Russians invaded. Then we managed to make our way to Poland and Hungary once we destroyed the Prussians and Austrians. Meanwhile, the entirety throughout this entire campaign, the British have been a massive thorn in my side, either taking Corsica, they even took Brittany from me, invading northern France, Hanover. They were so annoying since they lost Gibraltar to the Spanish a while ago. But overall, the coalition forces... ...weren't able to throw back Napoleon. So, let's move up to the river crossings, because we're going to have to advance eventually. I'm kind of hoping we can bait them forward so they attack us at the end of the day. Our artillery is shelling the British position just over the shallow river there. But for now they seem to be holding. Yeah, so there is a there is a small crossing there. Looks like the British are moving over. Quickly, reef on the line. I want to try and sneak over my cavalry if I can, because we do have a lot of it. The 15th Regiment of Foot Young Guard is hitting the 7th Light Horse Dragoon. We might need to form square, and we will. Hopefully we can get it done in time. But the British are charging over the river in the pouring rain. Straight at the firestorm of the French. Move here. Oh, no, not that infantry. Just the cavalry, please. Okay, it looks like they want to just pull their cavalry over. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could get mine over. The 52nd Regiment of Fort. <laughs> 50 seconds, crazy that we've got so many. 51st as well holding. Wait, right. now that we've gotten closer, we are getting slightly bombarded by the British artillery. Maybe trying aiming just in front. Might be able to destroy them bunkered in there. But so far, I've had an absolute blast for this series, and I do want to do more Napoleon on the channel. It's been such a thoroughly enjoyable campaign. I'm I'm surprised I haven't played more Darth Mod Napoleon, to be honest. It's just such a cool time period, these wars. With characters and stuff, so I am open to maybe doing a, another campaign in a similar fashion for this. Because not just Napoleon's cool, his marshals are so cool as well. So, just want to thank each and every one of you for all the fantastic support on this series. For giving it a go. Particularly the things I haven't uploaded Darth Mod on the channel before. On Napoleon Total War. Everyone's been interacting in the community as well. And all the fantastic comments 
I do appreciate it, even those of you who have been writing short stories for the Napoleon campaign. I really do appreciate it. Maybe that maybe I should try and make that into its own video. Because I have been saving those stories. So I do want to say a massive thank you and give a shout out to the subscriber, the user the Death Star. I do really appreciate the French battle reports and sort of short stories. How cool would it be if I could make, like, maybe I should make those into a video. <laughs> I'm not very good with cinematics, and I don't think my voice would be the best, but maybe doing, using those as like a cinematic campaign. Reading out those stories while getting some cinematic footage, that'd be really cool. Getting a really good voice actor in or something. I don't know. Let me know, guys, if that's something you'd like to see. This French campaign, this fantasy French campaign narrated into a, a video. I think it'd be quite cool. Okay, so it looks like the left flank is holding fine for now. We've thrown back the French advance. I might actually relocate my cavalry that's occupying the right flank to the left because I think getting over the river is going to be far easier on this side and there's no one here for now as well. We should be able to sow havoc and mayhem if we can go across the river. Quickly now. Right, continue up with that artillery fire. Yeah, we should have absolutely smashed and annihilated this position. Man, if it wasn't just hammering down with rain, we would have been able to absolutely pump them with shrapnel. But the French cavalry now is slowly but surely crossing the river. Taking up their position. The French Polish cavalry. Double time. Sally forth. Okay, so the 11th regiment of the UK is holding. Oh, we're holding on these artillery pieces as uh, These artillery shots as well. Oh, the cavalry is now over. Charge down the position. If we can take out a couple of generals, we'll be laughing. I don't know why they're going one at a time, that's so annoying. Those additional two P two cavalry units that were further on the right are now coming. Oh, we might need to... Hmm. Look, for now we'll continue to aim and target their artillery. But we might have to hit those pieces that are trying to cross on the right hand side. Whoa, I don't know what's going on there. My frames turned to absolute cactus there. The ninth light horse is coming up to meet us. Well, reform that properly and we'll charge with our five against their one or two that wants to come up and potentially challenge. So, oh, hang on. That's an artillery piece there. We'll charge that. But they are really going after our force here. I don't know how they were able to cross the river there and not take more casualties. So, the 4th and 5th British Regiment of Foot have charged. Ooh. And ours are not holding. We might need to rely on those reinforcements. But here is... A massive cavalry charge. 700 French charge the second light horse. Just outside London. It's the first time using our heavy cavalry. I've been really excited for them because then they can actually hold, interlock and fight for a lot longer. 
Oh, even though that charge looked like it was going to be successful, <laughs> they've actually not held on. Oh, that must be annoying for them. We've managed to push them back here. Perfect. Oh, here we go. General Staff. Facing our French Polish hussars. Just got to watch out for friendly fire slightly. But we've managed to repel them on both of the positions. Perfect. Good. Even though we attacked them, One of our units has used all we were operations. able to bait them in. <laughs> it's because their cavalry wanted to cross. I'm not entirely sure why. Continue to hit their position here. But our cavalry, now that they're higher quality and better quality armor, they can sit in. Oh, here we go. Alexander's being killed for the British. But this is the, probably the largest invasion force Britain has ever seen. Yeah, there's no way at any point in time more than 40,000 French disembarked. I wonder if there's like a stat, like what is the highest number of invasion forces per country? You know what I'm saying? Like, how many Germans invaded Russia in World War II and maybe France? What was the biggest invasion of the US? Or Australia? Well, it depends what you ask with Australia. Maybe there's 25 million invaders, I don't know. Depends what you ask. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I guess you're saying with the US. 350 million, maybe. Like foreign armies deploying. Yeah, because like the Japanese, I don't think they actually had any soldiers, did they? Like in World War II, did, did any of them actually... They, they flew planes and they bombed Darwin and stuff, but did they actually land anywhere? Like, what's the... Because I'm pretty sure the first foreign nation to declare war on Australia was the Japanese. Oh, they're charging over here now. I actually don't know if we're going to be able to hold this position here. We might need to get our artillery to bomb this position because as they're swarming a lot of over. Fight! Fight for tea and crumpets to the last man. What is a crumpet? Uh, we need croissants and baguettes. It's still interesting that the British and Australians still have like, French words. It's like cow, boeuf. Oh, what are some other ones? Yeah, because. Sheep is Anglo, but mutton would be French. Oh, just bump the mic. And I guess like pig, it would be like, I guess, yeah, because isn't there, because pig would be English and then pork would be French, I think. Yeah, because wasn't that a thing? Wasn't it like a class thing? Because the nobility, which were French speaking at the time, said boeuf, uh, bock, mutton, while the lower class Our English said pig, shape, cow. <laughs> anyway, speaking of animals, we really made a pig's ear, as it were, of this front line, and they're actually all in a full retreat. Hang on, we've managed to hit someone here, though. We are sniping their commanders quite well. 
But our right side has buckled. We'll bloody blow them to smithereens if you can. Blow them to smithereens. Yeah, they've they've buckled. That's annoying. Our cavalry's doing well on the other side. We might even be able to wrap all the way around and then eventually make our way back over the bridge. Our reinforcements have arrived, but they need to move up to deal with the British that are, that are now storming over our position of the battlefield. We're still massively favoured to win. Balance of power wise. They are getting quite close. We might actually be able to deploy a canister shot if we're lucky. Get our infantry over there. Our men are running, sir. Wow. Some of Napoleon's finest infantry. And now in a full retreat. We've got to give it to the British. They are making us absolutely work for our supper. Alright, make sure that we're not getting shot and sitting idly by here. Yeah, maybe I need to hold a vote for eventually the next series. Over the next coming weeks, Rome Total War Remastered will be taken over the channel. But I definitely throughout this year, maybe over the coming months, I want to do more Napoleon slash potentially Empire. Okay, we're nearly in range for a canister shot there. Let me get those 12 pounders slightly closer. Okay, they're now retreating there. Some of them we're holding, so we want to cycle charge those. They're now completely gone. It's just the ones on the bridge that are holding. Our infantry's now here. They're now routing. Perfect. Yeah, form there. There's only a couple more of the British holding here, yeah. We'll run them down with our cavalry on the other side. And oh, they seem to be forming up slightly. I feel like my artillery's gotten better as I come closer. But throughout this, they weren't fighting the best. Oh, the British once again going on another famed bayonet attached infantry charge which they seem to be notorious in this fight for yeah I guess it's a good strategy because you want to try and get yourself as tight to my front lines possible because then I'm going to stop firing my artillery pieces but little do they know I do not care about my men <laughs> dropping hellfire still Yoki Mira has now arrived. Our men are running, sir. I'm sure he trained and whipped Napoleon's cavalry into shape. Oh, it's basically GG now. There's only a couple more of these guys left. Look, you know what? If I get an opportunity with Yoki Mira, I might actually give him a charge in. That'd be just the type of thing for him to do. Charge into a heroic attempt at getting some British kills. The men are fatigued, sir. Sounds and right up his the alley. Wife. They're still holding me there. Yeah, let's move him into the fight. Let's get him to occupy this right-hand side with a little bit of covering. All right, swing around there, get back in the battlefield where you can. Bomb this unit right bang smack in front of you if you can. Maybe even this other one here. Only three seem to be holding. Yeah, oh, well that's a shame. We couldn't wrap them around further. Man, they nearly did a full rotation of the battlefield. 
Those cavalry units? Oh, and those guys lasted like one decent artillery volley. We are going to win here today. Yeah, I don't know why we took so many casualties in order resolve. That's crazy. I guess when you have so many units occupying the battlefield and an order resolve like that, they just, like, friendly fire goes through the roof. Like, there's no way that we're going to lose anywhere between 5,000 in this fight. It's just not going to happen. It's just wrong. That's an obscure reference. Just reminded me of it when I was fighting the British. Any one unit here now. They are in square, but maybe we should just charge it. Marats! Fame charge! We only need one good charge, even though they're in square. We just need them to rout and we're done. <laughs> charge me up. Please don't die. We've just spent... Like nearly like 20 minutes, 25 minutes playing this. <laughs> Mira survived. Oh, that's so good. If he died, it probably would have been fitting anyway. But to uh, capitulate and route the last unit, Mora and his fame charge. Nothing is so important in war as an un. Wait, what does that say? I can't see that from here. As an undivided command. I couldn't see that. <laughs> the, the writing was like blurred. From where I was sitting. I don't need glasses, I swear. Right, let's move our reinforcements to run down the last... Of the British there. Okay, so they've still got Edinburgh, Cardiff, and Ireland. We need to take. So let's do that. There is a crossing from Scotland to Ireland, which is good. And we'll repair and hold. We'll exempt London from taxes. And... I guess let's move you here, because it could be another rebellion, which is annoying. Uh, there is an army there that we have to deal with. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I thought it was more, because we can kick that out. My navy might actually be able to hit it, to be honest. Because we've thrown back what was made up of most of the British navy. Okay. Let's take Cardiff. Napoleon sieges Cardiff. <laughs> That's strange. Never thought I'd see the day. Wales is now under the control of the French. Can't liberate them, but we can Scotland and Ireland. So we'll liberate Scotland. Because we've gone around liberating stuff. I would have liked Hungary to stay, but keeps on track with the Polish record. Yeah, so we were able to get Polish hussars anyway. I don't think it was dependent on Poland being back or not. William II is now King of Scotland. King of Scots. Oh, we've actually been attacked here in France. We should be able to take Dublin, so that siege on the French mainland will mean nothing. General Massena is in Dublin, and is going to take Ireland for the French, and liberate the entire island. Check that out. An entire free and independent Ireland. Roy the First, King of the Irish. Okay. And oh, maybe it's not. It's not going to be the end of the British. Where are they? Oh, they're down in Corsica, aren't they? I think. Yeah, because they they're out of Hanover now. We kicked them out. Oh, they got Corsica. Oh, that's annoying. Well, we'll send an army down to deal with them, though. That's all right. Right. Let's get rid of the British. 
Is this where Wellesley is? Has he been hanging down here? He has too. Well, I was down defending Corsica, George. Oh, well, there goes the UK now. Maybe he threw. <laughs> Maybe he wanted the UK to fall. Well, I like this Napoleon chap. He's, he's very good with his marshals. I've had a small rebellion here, which is annoying, which I can't stand. We've basically eliminated the UK, but they can just spawn units out of magic. They spawn better armies than what they had. But the coalition has officially been destroyed. Victory conditions wise, we have way over the regions, which is awesome. But we need to take Spain. We also need to take Greece and the Crimea. We've got good relations with the Ottomans, so we should be able to get that. We should be able to buy them, ter the buy the territory from them instead of going on a full-on war. But we might have to invade Spain manually because I'm pretty sure Spain's their capital, which they can't trade and give up. Um, the Rum Rebellion, really in New South Wales. That's interesting. I didn't know about that. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty good how with the UK fall and there's rebellions going on out across the empire. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn. I've skipped a little bit ahead. So, first up, we're going to be able to get some territory from the Ottomans. Now, I'm just curious to see if we give them just like all my money because we've got like a crazy amount. Would they accept? No. Okay, we'll just ask for our key regions that we need then. So... If I get the Crimea and that, and we'll offer you all my money just to get it done. Oh, they're going to accept. Awesome. So we don't have to go and fight it. What? That's so strange that they attacked me after all that. Maybe the money? Well, we don't need Hungary. That's annoying. <laughs> yeah, those treacherous buggers. Right. Well, I don't think we're going to lose the Crimea or the Greek territory, because that's all we really need and care about. Wow, they took the money and <laughs> ran. So, we'll betray... The Spanish, and we'll move into Madrid. Mostly militia there. But Napoleon has finally arrived in Spain, and we've won a supreme victory. Wow, well, wait. Well, on that note, it's probably time to wrap things up. Thank you very much for watching. This M uh, Napoleon Total War Darth Maul. We've won the French campaign. We actually won a long victory, a supreme victory. Normally, I only do a short campaign, but I've, I enjoyed this playthrough so much that I wanted to wrap and, and finish things up with a really good victory. So, there is war with the Ottomans. And potentially the Spanish, but I, I, I kind of think, I think I'm done. I've hit my victory conditions. With the amount of money and military supremacy we have, it'd only be a matter of time before they fall. But we've destroyed the coalition. We've liberated Scotland, Poland, Ireland, and uh, some various other territory as well. Alrighty. Thanks for watching, guys. I just want to thank each and every one of you for all the fantastic support. Really do appreciate it. But yeah, I've got to replace this campaign with something. So let me know in the comments what you would like it to be. Maybe as well, who should I sort of give regions and princedoms and ownership to? Because Bernadotte's going to get Sweden, of course. But who gets England? Who gets Spain? I guess Mira can get sort of his Italian holdings. Yeah. What should 
Michel Neget. Crown Prince of, I don't know, Moscovy or something. Yoki Mira, Prince of Spain. Let me know in the comments who and what should get which title. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members members are available. Use creator code SimpsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, Merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. <laughs>